say, no regular dunk there. A superb alley-oop. And it was a great pass, too, to set him up. No, those two have such a great feel for each other. Uh, they're just fun to watch play together. Dishes it to D'Alembert. Over Bargnani, and it's blocked. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Now here is Lowry. Tight defense on him. DeRozan passes to Bargnani. Scooped up. Johnson using his post moves to get the two points. Excellent job carving out space under the glass to make that putback possible. Bucks trail by three. You know, when Amir Johnson was drafted as a high school player back in 2005, he was listed at 6'9 then. But if you look at him, you can tell he's grown quite a bit since then. And, you know, getting back to Amir Johnson, Steve, you mentioned his growth. But where he needs to get bigger is adding to his base below the waist. He's got to get stronger because he gets pushed off of his position too easily inside. And that actually forces him to get into foul trouble sometimes. Here's Lowry. Six points for him. And DeRozan kicks to Calderon. Over Dunleavy. Calderon, no good. Bucks have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Hit his leg. And the ref saying he kicked it. Here is Mr. Incredible. Now recovering. That's good. Mr. Incredible's got 39. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. They don't offer resistance. Take everything you can get in there. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Ilya Sova hits the button. Here's Calderon. He's got 10. Feeds it to DeRozan. He feeds it to Bargnani. Now DeRozan. 19 points in the game. Just five to shoot. From deep. A shot by Lowry. No good. Boy, that was way behind the line. Now he can make that at times. He certainly is one of the guys that can actually do it from there. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. And that one's good. DeRozan's got six in the quarter. Well, none of the defenders were quick enough to step out and get a hand in his face on that jump shot. Big mistake there. Down low. Here's Dunleavy. Toronto grabs the miss. And even three-on-three three break. And DeRozan at the basket on the assist by Calderon. DeRozan's got 23 points. Here's Mr. Incredible. Johnson over to help. Here's Ilyasova. Good on the triple. Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, each side having a tough time staying in front. Well, the fans love it. I mean, a, a tug of war. Uh, back and forth affair, but if you're a coach, well, there's a little frustration here. You're trying to pull ahead, but pretty evenly matched game. Calderon, no good. Ill advised shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. Here's Mr. Incredible. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got four rebounds now tonight. Outside Lowry. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by the Bucks. Jennings has got his sixth rebound on the night. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Here's Dallenbear. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. And it's a four-point Bucks lead. That's exactly what they had in mind on that possession. The try by Lowry. Pass to Johnson. Back to Lowry. Now 
Now the pass to Bargnani. Over Dalembe. And again, Toronto, no up. I think he's just got to compose himself, gather himself. He may be trying a little too hard out there. Let it flow. Let it happen. Don't force it. Here is Mr. Incredible, now recovering. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And great second half from long range for this team. Just scorching those nets, aren't they? Everything's wet. My goodness. Back to Bargnani. Can they get it? Good! Bargnani's got 10 points. Nice job there. He knows how to get that ball in the bucket, doesn't he, guys? It's back to Jennings. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. All right, we've got a bit of a break now, so here's a look at the league. One fifty-three left to play in the third. Puts the lead pass in front of him. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Now let's see the stat sheet here on Samuel D'Alembert. Some quality basketball from him this year. Second in field goal percentage. Ninth in rebounding. And he's been using his size and quickness to great effect defensively. He's in the top 20 in the league in blocks per game. And let's look at his phenomenal field goal percentage again, Steve. I mean, that's really a function of good teammates, a good system. But most of it is just taking good shots and making most of them. Bargnani has checked in for the Raptors. Are you kidding me? They're like different guys this half. They haven't missed a single free throw. Stepping up and knocking him down, Clark. Here's Klaza. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Klaza's got his first points of the game. Sometimes folks forget about his decent mid-range jumper. He can knock those down. Oh, 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 man, that was a real hard it up. An open lane right there. Pretty much saw the daylight he wanted and took advantage. Yeah, great opportunity, and he sees it without much hesitation. Yeah, a little too easy, if you ask me. The defense really needs to tighten things up here. That was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Sprite. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. Look now at the Raptors' upcoming schedule. They can look forward to the Oracle Arena after this game to match up against Golden State. That'll be the second on the road in the midst of this long four-game road stand. The Bucks making a switch here. Daniels has checked in. Raptors trail by six. Clock at six. And here's Calderon. Ten points for him. Offensive rebound. Clays it is to Johnson. Count the bucket. Johnson's got 10 points in the game. Yeah, we're now starting to see them get some high percentage shots in the paint. Yeah, that's five of their last six buckets inside the lane, so they're getting really high percentage looks down there. He's been so valuable for this team with plays like that one. I'd like to see a two-for-one situation here, Clark. Yeah, I agree. I think it's always good to give yourself that last shot. Plaza misses. Bucks leading by six. Here is Mr. Incredible. Shot on the wing. A second chance effort. And he races to the bucket for two. D'Alembert has got four points in the quarter. Well, I like that he's come up with some big baskets for this team to help him out in getting this lead. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Calderon kicks to Ross. It's intercepted. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Mr. Incredible. Finishes the break with a slam. Costly mistake at the other end to set up that fast break. That's what you want to do after a turnover. Push the ball up the floor and strike quickly. Passes it to Klaza. Jacks up a three. No good. Here's Mr. Incredible. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in.